Hello guys. Decided to make this quick video. A little quick shot there. You can see what's possibly missing there. This bike originally came with uh, spark plug resistor caps. The uh, wires are the solid core copper wires and they use the uh, resistor caps to knock it to, to knock it down so it wouldn't affect the like radios and TVs well I found out this morning you know what we'll talk about this outside but you can see that is just a rubber boot with the copper core wire running into it into the spark plug morning I woke up and something hit me out of clear blue like a brick as far as thought wise goes. Um, there's something on that bike that I never I, did, I forgot to check and I found out that the uh, spark plug resistor caps were bad. Actually I have one that has it's it's wide open there's total resistance and the other three has a lot of resistance I mean it's a lot higher than it really should be I went by the manual to find out what the resistance was now I forget now what the what the ohms was for the resistance but it was it was almost to the point where they just they were wide open and that's due to corrosion and uh, whatnot, and possibly the resistors are bad. Now, these caps are not the kind that you can take apart and clean. And even if you did take them apart to clean, you're never going. To, you're always going to miss a little bit of corrosion. And my thought on that is they're just not worth it. Um, there's other ways to get. Uh, suppression in the system. You can buy new caps which adds up in price and time. You can buy suppression wires and just take the caps off which will do the same thing and the suppression wires are just, expen just as expensive as the non-suppression wires or sometimes you can get them cheaper I mean you have other alternatives with those um, or you can go with a resistor spark plug what I ended up to, and it, to be honest with you my bike and I don't, I'm not too sure about other bikes so I'm not going to say all bikes my bike I looked it up and I asked a lot of questions to uh, different mechanics on different forms and I found out that I could actually remove all the suppression off of my bike for the spark and it won't it'll run it'll run beautiful the only thing is it'll mess up uh, radios and TVs as you go by which I mean right now it's set up without suppression and it'll just say hey Mikey's home But I did get it running. I got it really hot, like it was whenever it started acting up. And it was running beautiful. I was adjusting the idle in because it was, it was the idle was settling right down. I was adjusting the idle in on it, idle on it, and uh, number one spark plug wire was tight because I mean you're missing. I'll show you real quick. This is the is the cap I'm talking about. The resistor cap. The resistor is actually inside of where the, the wire goes in. Actually, in this side. And normally, you can take a screwdriver in there and turn it off the center, and there's a little resistor in there. These are just throwaways. You can't do that. And since it's missing that much. From here, to, from here to here, 
the wire is going to be too short because all I did is I, I put a rubber boot on with a little clip to go over the spark plug. It's missing that now. So it's too short. Somebody's cut these wires down in the past, but it looks. And the number one wire started pulling from the vibration and everything pulling out of the boot, which it had beautiful spark coming out of it. But it's it started not running right. So I just stopped it there. The idle is not is pretty close. It's running real well. It's taking throttle like you look like a maniac. And I can't wait to see this how to ride this thing. Because this thing has always had kind of a weak, lazy spark. It's always had that. And it finally lost on number four, it lost Tittle Spark, which th that's what this one is this catch from. Lost Tittle Spark. And now, I mean, before you couldn't hear it snapping when you turned it over and testing it. You couldn't, it, all you could do is kind of like try to block the light off so you can very lightly, faintly see the spark. Now, it'll spark, it's nice, bright, thick blue. You can actually hear that thing snap real loud. It is fantastic. Now, I will be putting a suppressive system on it, suppression system on it. But the way I'm going to go is I'm going to go with um, special wa suppression wires. And for a quick fix right now, I am just going to use whatever I can get my hands on that will that I can cut down and fit it. The reason I'm doing that is to get it on the road for now, and I need I need to get that bike into state inspection for Pennsylvania, and this will be a way to do it. I mean, the way it looked, the way it was acting, I could have sworn it was the I did I was positive that it was the coils, but I'll tell you. These little things will do some weird things to your bike. After checking it and getting it hot and everything, there is no doubt it was these. So, I mean, if anybody out there runs into this, I have made mistakes. I've had it on video, and I'm not ashamed of that. I am not a bike mechanic. I actually, in my schooling for mechanics, was, was diesel mechanics. And diesels don't have electrical systems on them, electrical ignition systems on them. At least back then they didn't. Um, the, the worst you had was a glow plug to heat the block up. So, I mean, I did, I have worked on my own cars and stuff a lot. But, I mean, I've never had this, this kind of a problem. Of course, they never had resistor caps either. So, I mean, I apologize for the, the videos that I messed up in the recent past. I mean, this is kind of a learning process. And I hope that if someone's watching this and trying to learn, I hope they learn with me through the videos and not on their own. This is a, this can be a headache, a real headache. But either way, all I got to do is find a wire for number one to fit it properly and I'd actually number two is a little tight too but it's, it's a lot shorter than number one what I'll do is I'll find one for number one and put, cut, uh, put number one over number two over so it'll be just right and other than screwing up uh, radios and TVs that I'm driving by it'll run beautiful I can I do have feelers out for some suppression wires that people might have uh, discarded because I mean along their seven or eight millimeter I can use them on this and what I'll do is I'll go through each individual wire make sure the outside coating is good and make sure the uh, oh the carbon inside is also is solid you can do that with no a multimeter and I'll put it I'll chop it down to size and fit it up and it should be fine
Now I could buy new spark plugs. I can buy the resistor spark plugs and get away with this. But these spark plugs that I have in them on this, well, three out of four are brand new from about, uh, I'd say about 200 miles ago. Uh, the one that's not brand new, the reason why it's not brand new is whenever I bought the four spark plugs, uh, I had one that was bad. And instead of going clean back to the auto parts store to get it replaced or even try to argue it down, I just found that one of, my, one of the spark plugs I'm replacing that was good, I was in really good shape, I cleaned it up and the only thing that was wrong with it was the outside where the oh, suck goes on is a little rusty. Not a big deal, I don't care. I'll put it on the inside uh, cylinders, that way you don't see it. You don't see it, it's not there. But uh, the, the, uh, the first part of this video will show you how the, uh, the video on how the uh, wires goes out in the rubber caps. There's a little metal clip inside. And actually, I got those rubber caps and the metal clips off, off of old chainsaws that I had. It was, I'm parting out and junk, I'm junking the rest. And I, I heard I scavenged the rubber boots and the metal clips inside off of them just to get this bike tested out. It's not a permanent fix. My fact, I'll be doing some modifications to them if I want to end up running them for, I'd say, let's say a couple of days. I'll modify them, make sure they don't come out, they can't come out or anything. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys learned from this video, or the last few videos, and uh, to let you know, uh, I was wrong. Muzzle Mike is not down for the summer. Muzzle Mike will be on the road very shortly. And with some help of some friends, which I'm going to leave nameless for now until I hear it's okay that... Uh, he doesn't mind me saying his name for this purpose, but he is helping me by getting, trying to get a hold of old spark plug wires because I cleaned up my garage and threw all mine away. And uh, for even checking, he's a very good friend, and I I will I'll say his name later on if he if he, if he says okay. Now, that's it for today, and I hope. These guys are having a fantastic day. The day is gorgeous. I should be out cutting the grass, but I'm not. I am just too excited about the bike. Uh, there's a lot of good videos out there. Um, Sergeant Martin has put up a good, good video not too long ago. Uh, NT8. He's Tom. He's uh, that uh, new BMW. If you haven't checked, if you don't haven't checked him out or subscribed, get over there and subscribe to him. He's a fantastic guy. He's one of the better vloggers that I know. I mean, as far as posting, he's constantly posting. Uh, there's the vloggers out there as just as good good as he is as far as making the videos, and it's just the constant cycle he's putting up is fantastic. Uh, as an end note, hope you guys all ride safe. And AZ Wacko, you're doing really good with that, my, my friend. That camera's doing great for you. And everybody ride safe. And ride it like you stole it. This is Muzzle Mike, signing out. <laughs>